In 2010, the world bore witness to the greatest oil disaster in the history of the petroleum industry. 4.9 million barrels of oil were leaked into the sea. This is enough to fill over 300 Olympic swimming pools, and the environmental consequences were devastating. Not only this, but 11 people lost their lives and their bodies were never recovered. The explosion was caused when pressure in the wellhead was not maintained and gas was able to leak up through the pipelines. The wellhead is located at the well origin and is responsible for maintaining the pressure in the pipelines. New wells and so their wellheads can be located up to 5,000 metres below sea level. This is six times the height of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. At these depths, the pressure is 250 times what we're experiencing right now. Hopefully, you can appreciate that any repairs that needed on the wellhead are very difficult. And one of the main challenges that the wellhead is facing is corrosion. Seawater, although it feels quite tame to me and you, we swim in it and I've probably more than once accidentally swallowed it, is actually really destructive to metals. And this is where I come in. My name is Mel and I'm looking at two alloys which are commonly used as the nuts and bolts which hold the wellhead together. And I want to understand their corrosion properties in seawater and try and understand it better. To improve the properties of the alloys, I cook them. I bake them in an oven at temperatures up to 1020 degrees for as long as about 20 hours. And this heat treatment changes the internal structure of the alloy. Then, to study the corrosion properties, I put my alloys in seawater and I push an electrical potential through them. This accelerates the corrosion process and lets me look at it in the lab. Now, what I found is that actually, certain cooking times and temperatures make the alloys more likely to corrode. But don't worry, this is good news. It means the alloys in service are now are in their most corrosion resistant state. And my research can now fo focus on the corrosion itself. You see, this isn't an obvious type of corrosion like rust. It's a sneaky type of corrosion called pitting. Now, if you can all imagine a jam donut all <coughs> lovely and squishy and covered in sugar, you can't always find the hole where the jam is. And if you do, you have no idea how much jam is inside the donut. This is what pitting corrosion is like. It can't be seen on the surface, and you have no idea how much damage it's done on the inside. We need to better understand this corrosion process so that we can better prevent accidents like this happening again. So next time you dribble jam down yourself because you've bitten into the wrong end of the donut, please think of me and my corrosion research. Thank you.